we all know about Nadikaragini and we must have heard about Nadikaragini. So let's hear from Anirudh about how he how thought of this idea and how he went back.
and uh, we received a grant from CSIR to actually prove the thesis, to convert the point which we made in the thesis uh, into the prototype level. And uh, we successfully did that at 20 hospitals and collected more than 20,000 data, validated it with uh, doctor's inputs, uh, patient's information, ID inputs and all other things. And eventually I started my company and uh, this is how how the product looks like. In 2014-15, I met uh, Dr. Valiathan and uh, the important advice he gave me was whatever you do, uh, make sure yeah, that your uh, device looks nice. The Indians lack the design aspect. Catherine also spoke about that. That branding look and feel is very important. And uh, we uh, took advice from Design Directions, one of the best firms of the world who has won all the field fair awards in the design industry and uh, this is how the system looks like. Well, uh, it has been a wonderful journey since 2016, lots of ups and downs, but uh, now we are operational at many locations, more than 1000 data points are coming on our centralized server every day and we have been analyzing them, uh, uh, optimizing our algorithms day by day. different types of pulse. If a common man feels the pulse, he will see the, he will feel more like the first diagram, you know, tap, 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 not beyond that. If a common man cannot feel beyond what is there which is in the first diagram. But with yoga grass, with sadhana, with guru shisha parapara, a vaidya can feel the very minute ups and downs in that pulse wave. Okay. So that was the precise uh, requirement with Vajkara's heart when I was developing the sensor. And every time when I developed something else, I started with a mic, with a optical sensor, different types of pressure sensor and so on. On one day when I went to him with a printout that this is a new sensor that we have developed, just by looking at the graph, he said that, you know, this is a female pulse, age 25 to 30, she is having uh, gas problems and asked her to do so and so they we were going to that. And I had actually taken uh, my wife, at that time she was not my wife, but her uh, Nadi because she was having chest pain. So, uh, so you know, at that time we realized that okay, the sensor is right. Now the big journey starts. What we actually saw in the that printout, what were the real variations, and how to convert that language into the computer science language, which defines uh, various patterns and so on. So, Vaidya is used to speak in this language. Of course, there are many languages, and we are trying to cover many of them. So, if you see this particular line, there are various types of feeling information. He used to always pick up any object, and he will ask us to feel it and check whether your pulse is uh, going towards any of those uh, uh, informations. So, you can see that. But you can see that uh, there is a Dikshna Nadi, there is a Thula Nadi, there is a Sukshma Nadi and you can see that many of the uh, pulse waveforms which we achieve have some of those patterns. Okay, the Sukshma da is available in some portion of the pulse, the Dikshna da is available in some portion of the pulse. So that is how our journey started. That Vaidraj or uh, all our associated doctors used to talk in terms of this language and we used to observe them in uh, the Nadi waveforms. So the whole journey started with pattern recognition, uh, with rule-based system and this is how it is, it might be correlating with each other and so on. That is how the whole journey started. And uh, we came up with this report card in 2018, 16 the report card was completely rejected by the IMF doctors, 17 the report card was again rejected for the 18 report card, the improvement happened in the report card, the language, the findings and so on. And, uh, well, it helped in many ways. One of the ways is uh, the Guru Shishan Parapara is to teach how the Gati is, whether it's moving like a snake, whether it's jumping like a frog and so on. So instead of people show that this is how you have to feel and check whether your pulse is in so and so fashion or not. Lots of publications, lots of paper where we showed how data varies with food, how Surya Namaskar increases the Nadi Bala, how Panchakarma treatments um, you know, 
followers ka fix ka da gaya ho si other guna sets hua with respect to to charya din charya we showed how changes vary over the months by observing of almost 25000 uh, people uh, around the year and so on uh, this particular thing i want to showcase to all uh, the 25000 people around about which uh, we talked about we uh, uh, kind of plotted their digestifier the agni point the, the number uh, with respect to hindu calendar with respect to various tithis uh, which happened uh, throughout the year so we observed that during the first cycle of the lunar cycle when the moon is increasing the digestion is better when in the krishna paksha when the moon is high uh, your digestion is good and those references are in the books if you observe very carefully especially the red line it's increasing coming down on the dashi again it's going on again coming by uh, coming down in dashi and again lying on the amos maybe these are the reasons were observed by the scientists at those times we always say that the washing machine is where the data scientists of uh, that particular era maybe they observed this particular uh, and, and that's why uh, in our council uh, we have something with respect to fasting every week every year every 15 day and so on. maybe we are still working on this we haven't published this data but just wanted to show this interestingly again uh, with respect to different gunas they also follow absolute charya with respect to various gunas uh we covid we were working with unilever and uh, we were giving them uh, uh, shampoo suggestions soap suggestions with respect to dryness with respect to many more uh, parameters which family members should use with so based on their prakriti and our parameters and so on. uh we got a couple of awards uh, this year a uh, very prestigious ones but uh, very proudly now we are working with uh, also working with tata consultancy services tcs uh, and uh, it's a huge project we are uh, the first three rounds of trials have been completed and uh, it has been a phenomenal journey with uh, tcs with respect to all kind of validations they expected from us and uh, first two quarters will be 15000 people and if we solve this then uh, next couple of quarters will be 5 lakh people and it will grow exponentially so you you can imagine the kind of data that will get generated on our server we really really find uh, how to look we look at i way nadi all other aspects and so on. and as i talked about uh, when i started my presentation i talked about the variable right i am i'm wearing one right now which is based on i way which is based on the uh, sensor which is on this side of the wrist all the variables right now which are in the market so far the sensors are on this side and they are mainly the optical sensors but recently nadi uh, if we can capture 24/7 and imagine that hundreds thousands and lakhs of people millions of people eventually when they wear this and uh, in 2030 uh, bharat contributes to that a uh, variable journey which is happening all over the world is uh, is 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 absolutely possible with this with this particular sensor well we are uh, currently designing this particular variable so that all rest uh, all sizes of rest all types of nadis because you know it's, it's very personal sometimes nadi is very superficial level sometimes is deeper sometimes its value is very low so there is no one standardized way Laser thermals, but but our design team is working hard to make sure that it fits on all left hand, right hand, all types of nadi. It shifts its position uh, and so on. But but I think we will we'll make sure that we capture your nadi. And with IIT Kanpur, uh, this amazing work is going on. CCRX has come up with a very nice priority question, and but it's slightly long. As an engineer, as a common person, I feel it's very tiring, or uh, you know, it's it's not. Uh, to ask 160 questions, 150 questions, and so on. So we are coming up with an image video-based um, application, and this is in collaboration with IIT Kanpur. Uh, and uh, we'll try to reduce the number of questions. We are not saying we will make it zero, but uh, the question and video-based approach is what we are aiming. And the initial results are good. Where we are uh, coming up with manually parsing every personal information which we get. 
inserted and, uh, and of course uh, it will be very easy on your mobile. That's why team, uh, it comprises of uh, a research person, a technology person, an Ayurveda person, a nutrition background and uh, the team is growing and I am very, uh, very happy that these people are making sense with this journey and in great sense. Our vision of the next 5 to 10 years is this. Right now we are in the classification mode at the moment. But very soon, with the variable and lots of data, we want to go into the prediction mode. Ayurved says that the, uh, any formation of a disease happens in 7 stages. So uh, we want to make sure that we want to find out at what stage that particular person is. And uh, we want to make sure that we uh, find out in second stage, meeting third stage, maximum fourth stage, and we at least defer it. If not prevent, we can defer it. Uh, we started working on diabetes uh, with Dr. Nagendra at SVS and he published a couple of papers with respect to stiffness, with uh, diabetes numbers, and so on. And we are very happy to announce that just a couple of weeks ago, we have received a provisional acceptance from Niti Ayo to, uh, to do this work for 18 months, 20 states, a large data study to actually prove this from data point of view. A non-invasive Nadi monitor, non-invasive pulse monitor and uh, I hope by that time the variable work will be uh, the actual reality. So uh, maybe that non-invasive diabetes monitor on your hand. So thank you very much. Um, and, uh, I've so as a data person, uh, I look at Ayurveda as a great science I have been observing. Uh, we just want to make sure that it is deciphered and uh, made available to all people in today's language, which is the language of numbers, report cards, comparison and so on. So uh, our journey has started with that vision and I am sure that in the next 5 to 10 years, we will contribute to that, uh, to those, again, to reiterate, to that uh, variable journey of 